Hey everyone, I wanted to add some colorful pots to my garden and so I am going to be painting some terracotta pots. And I'm going to start with this turquoise craft paint which is very old but it was in my stash. And I'm just using a paintbrush to coat the entire outside. And I didn't do anything else to the terracotta pot other than just wipe it down with a wet cloth and let it dry. For the paint, I did water it down a little bit, but my paint was very old and kind of sticky. So that's pretty much all I did and just coated the entire pot, including the inside, which you will see soon. Now that the first coat of paint is now dry, I'm going to add some dimension and add a lighter blue color. And I'm going to be adding this color with a stippling brush, which is kind of a really hard brush um, because I want to create some brush strokes across the paint. I'm not going to add a full coat of it. I am just going to splatter it everywhere and just brush it on. Um, I did also water down this paint so that it didn't uh, get too heavy in any one part and the paper towel is just heading, helping me with blotting it um, so that I could make sure that it wasn't too heavy of a paint. <laughs> So now after that coat dries, I am going to be adding some more dimension by adding some green, but I am mixing two different colors to get that right green that I'm looking to add kind of like a moss a little bit, a brighter moss. And so now I'm going to add that all around the pot and only in certain spots, not fully covering it in the green, but um, adding quite a bit to it. So now after I let that dry, I'm going to come in with an even darker green. And this one I really watered down. I watered the brush down and so I had extra water on the brush and the paint. I also did the saucers in all the same colors. So now I'm going to be giving it a bit of a whitewash. I have a, a lot of water on my brush and a watered down white cream paint. Um, and I also am using a paper towel so I can wipe it down and not have it all very heavy around the pot, but just giving it that whitewash. So now I wanted to give it a little bit of a rust look. So I'm coming in with some metallic copper paint that again is very watered down and just spreading it here and there and then wiping it down as well. I didn't want it to be too heavy, but I did want it a bit sporadic. So here's the final pots and I absolutely love how they came out. They look absolutely beautiful and this is one of my favorite colors. Now I did lose the footage of where I coated it with a sealer. So I did coat the outside as well as the plates in that satin clear sealer. Um, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that this gives you some inspiration and that perhaps maybe you will paint some pots that will fit your garden decor. Until next time. Bye.